So this is the login and register page that we are creating. As you can see here, you can register using username, password. You can add other fields like email, address, and all this stuff if you want. So using this form, we can register. And if the password and retype password are not matching, you will get an error message. Let's register a user, user test. Now we can click on register. So as you can see, you'll get a password not matching error because I have not typed R here. Now if I register again, you will see this message registered successfully. Now you can log in. After login, you'll be sent to this page. You can send to any other page if you want. Let's see how we can create this. So first, we need a register page and a login page. So let's create a register page first. So we are creating the layout for the register page. To make this quicker, we will create with linear layout, not with constraint layout. Now that our UI is created, let's create a register activity which will be used to register the user into our SQLite database. Now before working on this activity, we need to create a database helper class that will help us create user and that will help us to insert user into the database and get the user from the database so that our login works. So first, let's create our database helper. So we are creating a table called users that will have username as primary key and password as text. So the required classes are done. Now our database will be created and table will be created. Now let's create a function that will insert user and get user when we are logging in.
So we are inserting username and password into users table and this result contains minus one if it is not inserted successfully. Otherwise it has inserted data successfully and we will return true from this insert data function. So this function is enough for registering the user. Now let's try and see if register function works. So let's go back to our activity register and create functionality to insert data into our users table. First, check if all the required data is inputted by the user or not, and we are just making sure if none of the fields are empty. Now we check if none of these or any of these are empty. So if one of these, any one of these fields are empty, we just show a toast message saying enter all the fields. If all the fields are entered by the user, we check if password and re-enter password match or not. they match we proceed with registration else we show error message that password do not match if the password match we just insert these details into the database to do that we need to create a new instance of db helper so let's create that Now that we have our DB helper, we just insert the data. And as you can see here, it is returning true or false. True in case the data is successfully inserted, false in case the data is not inserted. So we will use this return type to show messages showing if user is successfully created or not. Now our registration part is successful, but we just need to add one more functionality that is we need to give error message to user if the username is already taken. So let's go ahead and do that. So for that we need to create a function called check user.
So this query gets all the users that have the username as passed here. So if more than one row is returned, we return true. That means the user already exists, else we return false. So we will use this function to check if the user already exists. Before directly jumping into registering, we check if user exists. If this returns true, we just say the user already exists. Let me copy this. And then we return because we don't want to go proceed with the registration. Let's run this and see if registration works. But before that, I just remembered we need to add this to manifest because this activity is not registered yet. So let's register this and let's make this a launcher activity too. Now let's run this. As you can see here, our register activity is running. Let's try to register something. Test user one. Let's keep the same password. Let's try something wrong here. Let's check if it works or not. So as you can see, you're getting the message passwords do not match. Now let's type the matching password. As you can see, now we get this message, user registered successfully. Now let's try and build the login. Again, first we will create the login UI. So now we have our UI ready. Let's create the activity for this. Just like we created a function for inserting user into our database, first let's create a function to get the user from database. Let's call our function public boolean check user and it will take string user and password it will check So now we are getting the rows which match the username and password entered by the user. So we will copy and paste this. This means that if there is one or more rows returned, we will return true. If no matching rows are found, we will return false. We will use this function in our activity login.
So here, if the user is successfully logged in, we just send the user to activity RV products, that is a products page. And if the user is not logged in, we just say login failed. Let's add this activity to the manifest. Okay, we are almost ready now. Now let's create a mechanism so that we can open this activity from our registered activity. That is, when the user clicks on go to login, we will open this activity. So let's do that. Make sure that this is the actual name. Okay, that is the name. Now, we just set an on click listener so that Whenever the user clicks on button, go to login. Login page is opened. It looks like everything is ready now. Let's run this and test the whole login and register flow. Okay, so we are in our register page. Let's register another user. the user is registered successfully let's now go to login let's enter username correctly but password wrong let's click on login and as you can see it shows login failed let's type the correct password let's see if this works so as you can see the new activity is opened now if you have any questions let me know in the comments below